Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about file and streams in C++ programming. In C++, we can read from and write to files using fstream standard library. And the standard library has the OFStream, which stands for output file stream, and it is used to create and write data to files. Secondly, we have the ifstream or input file stream. It is used to read data from the files. And thirdly, we have the fstream and it can be used to create file or also it can be used to write and read data from the file. So first of all, we have to include the fstream header in our program and then we have to create object of the output file stream and then we can use the object and we can create and open one file. And then we can use the object and we can write data to that file. And after that, we can create the input file stream object and we can use the object and we can open one file and also we can read data from that file. Like in this example program, so first of all, we have to include the fstream header in our program. Now inside the main method, we're gonna create one integer variable age, which will hold the age of one person. And then we're gonna create output file stream object out and then we're gonna use that object and we're gonna create and open one file called myfile.dat and after that we're gonna tell the user to enter the age and then we're gonna take the user input and store it into the age variable and then we're gonna write that value of the age variable into that file. And after that, we are going to close the file. And now to read the data of that file, we have to create input file stream object in and then we are going to use that object and we are going to open the file myfile.dat and then we are going to print the string your age is and then we are going to read the file and store it inside the variable age and after that we're gonna print the value of age onto the console. And then of course we have to close our file using the close function. So I'm gonna save the program and I'm gonna run the program. And it says enter the age. So I'm gonna enter the age 20 and then it printed back your age is 20. And also of course you can notice that inside the current directory we have one file created myfile.dat and inside the file we have the stored value 20 and this is nothing but the user input and that has been stored inside that file called myfile.dat so this is the way we can include the fstream header in our program and then we can create one output file stream object to create and open one file and then also we can use that object to write data to that file and after that to read data from that file we have to create input file stream object and we can use that object and we can read data from that file so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you